spirit after we have become a new creature in Christ, yeah. you see. We have to put our foot down. Right. We have to be strong. Right. We have to stay in the way, you yeah. see. Because I'm here to ask you today. I'm here to ask the church today. Right. Are we a still a carnal church? Are we still carnal people? Right. Oh, praise God. Now, what we got to do? Identify what is carnal. Are we still fleshly people? Are we still doing the same sinful stuff in which uh, we hope to have stepped out uh, through the calling of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ? Yeah. Oh, brothers and sisters, what I'm here to tell you today is don't be. Don't be discouraged. Right. You see? Because all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God, right. you see. But we know that the Heavenly Father has prepared a way for us. Yeah. He know and we know that we're going to backslide, you know. Right. He know this. But in following Jesus, he don't cast you to the side. He don't put you out and lock the door. Jesus said, come. And every time you fall down, if you could get back up, yeah. come on to me, you see. And the Lord, the Lord will take care of it. Yeah. Now, it's a duty of the church. It's a duty of the church, wow. you see, to other people in the church not to remain carnal, you see, but to grow in their spirituality with God, you see. We got to grow in our spirituality. How do we grow in our spirituality? They say, how do we grow? We stay in the word. We stay in prayer. Oh, praise God. Do you can remember? Do you remember when, when the Lord first laid his hand on you? Can you remember it? Yeah. When he first laid his hand on you, yeah. you see? That feeling, that feeling of love, that feeling, he took you out of the world at that time. Right. You were no longer in the world. You see, but you was in the bosom of Christ, you see. Oh, praise God for all those, you say, who opened the door when he knocked. Yeah. Oh, praise God. You let him into your house. You let him into your heart, you see. But we can't got to go further than that, brothers and sisters. We got to do more, you see. We got to stay in his word, you see what I'm saying. Because we got to put his word in our forehead, you know what I'm saying. To strengthen the love in our heart. You see, that's the spirituality, yeah. you see. That's the difference from, you know what I'm saying, knowing the word. That's the difference from knowing the word and walking in the word, yeah. you see. Oh, praise God, you see. Now, brothers and sisters, what we got to do is when we're talking to other saints, you see, or when we're talking to another part of his creation, you see, it's okay to mention him. Bring him up. Bring him in that mist. Because that person whom you're talking to, you see what I'm saying, you done ushered in Christ, you see what I'm saying, and he might, the person might let him in. Oh, praise God. Yeah. They might let him in. That's right. You see. <clears throat> but we never speak on the word, mm -hmm. you see. If we never speak on the word, then we are not for Christ in our midst. We say we saved, you know, and those who want to be saved, uh -huh. those who looking for a way to be saved, right. we need an example. Oh, brother and sister, I just know you what you say. There is no better example, uh -huh. you know what I'm saying, than Jesus. Yeah. Isn't that right? right? There is no better example than Jesus, right. you see. But. If you don't know Jesus in that way, right. you see, you know you've been going through something in your, in your spirit, right. you see. Or you know you've been going through things in life, you see. Mm -hmm. And it came to the point where you had to submit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You had to call on a higher power. You had to say, Jesus, come into my life. Because you've been told, you know what I'm saying, that he can make everything right. right. And as you pick up the book, it tells you, without a shadow of a doubt, uh -huh. 
that he makes everything right. And so what we do, you see, when we got the trouble, if you can remember when you had the trouble, you see, we are no greater than our testimonies, right. you see. We are no greater than the time that God let us, that, that, that we let Jesus in our lives, right. you see. Paul won the whole world on a testimony. Yeah. His testimony of meeting Jesus Christ on the road to Damascus, yeah. you see. And Paul, Paul submitted his life to Christ. Now don't get me wrong, now back in, back in, probably back in 2 Corinthians and and, and uh, uh, um, Chris, you know, see what I'm saying? He asked, he asked God to take that bondage from him. Oh. You see? Yeah. Why? Because he's been inflicted with the carnal self again. Oh. You see? See, when Jesus took him and put him in his bosom and put the words in his mouth, you know what I'm saying? To right. tell him what to say. Right. You see? And you got to understand, you understand, Jesus gave Paul, if you was to read the book, it seems as though he gave more than he gave the first 12, mm -hmm. you see. Because Paul, Paul talked more of Jesus than any. Paul spread the good news all around the world, mm -hmm. you see. But Paul, Paul, like all of us, uh -huh. at situations and times in our life, you see, we're going to be weak to the carnal flesh. Uh -huh. We're going to miss what's happening in the world. Oh, heavenly Father, I am here today to tell you, you see, I ain't but a sinner. You see, I ain't but a sinner. I praise the Lord. I ask God. I say, God, why you want me to speak to the people? And I'm a sinner. Say, look what I did to Paul. Whoa. You see? See, look what I did for Paul. You see? I said, God, I ain't no good. I ain't good for nothing. Mm. I took your most precious creation. Whoa. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And made slaves out of them. Yeah. You see? I ain't no good. Lord, why you put your word in my mouth to tell it? Because you can speak to the people like I did Paul. You can be a beacon of light, oh. you see, for those who are traveling mm -hmm. in the world, right. in the carnal self, in the flesh, you see. Right. Now, oh, I have to stay on my knees. I have to pray night and day, you know what I'm saying? Because I don't want to backslide. But brothers and sisters, let me, let me talk to you a minute. Let me talk to you a minute about our inward self. When you came to God, when you accepted Jesus, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. All those things in the world that you couldn't figure out, you know what I'm saying? You could figure it out. Uh -huh. The spirit of truth came to you, you see? All those things, you know what I'm saying? I'm in the world and I'm not quite sure. Yeah, there wasn't a Christ, it was of the world, yeah. you see? But the spirit of truth going to be what it is. It's going to be the spirit of truth. You see what I'm saying? It will guide you in all truth and light. Isn't that right? But it didn't say, you understand, that it's going to make you holy and sanctified. It didn't say that. You see? That's why you got to pray in your spirit. You got to ask God to keep your spirit strong. So that you don't backslide. Yeah. You see? Oh, brothers and sisters, and I'm here to bring you the good news today. I'm here to bring the good news. You see, see, I'm talking about it, right? Mm. So, I mean, if I backslide now, Whoa. in that way, I'm going to bring ultimate condemnation onto myself. Mm. But, oh, Heavenly Father, I ask you to give me the strength not to backslide. Mm. You see, and, oh, brothers and sisters, in this world today, what we got to do is accept our mistakes. And ask him to show us or give us a better way. You see? Because, yeah. see, we've been born in sin. Right. And we're in a world, we were shaped in iniquity. You see? How can you get, a, how can you get past it? How can you get past it? And I'm going to tell you, how can you get past it? 
Because if you stay into the world, you cannot grow in your spirituality. How can you get past it? Right. The world has you everything. And I'm going to tell you, the world brings you Satan's most perfect weapon. Right. Satan's most perfect weapon is what? Oh, Jesus speaks on it so eloquently. Lust! Lust! You see? Lust! You see? Satan's most powerful weapon. Lust. Yeah. See? And lust is not, you know what I'm saying, con constricted to the flesh. Mm -hmm. You see? You have a lustful eye. Yeah. You see? You can have a lustful want. You see? Three. Lust. Oh, heavenly Father. Mm -hmm. I fall short. You see? I fall short. Because mm -hmm. when God, beautiful creation, he walks back. I look. Oh, praise God. And then I look again. Oh, no. For the one, one religious, one religious sect says the first look is a look of God's creation. Right. How beautiful and magnificent, you understand, he formed. You see. But the second look. Oh, praise God. They say, that is the look of lust. That's the look of this world. You see. So, brothers and sisters, we got to stay strong. You know what I'm saying? But if we can't be strong and we can't identify, we got to be able to identify. You know what I'm saying? And we have to be true to ourselves, you understand, about what is right and what is wrong. Right. You know what I'm saying? According to what we read to the book. Now, Carnal self. Carnal self. First John. I'm going to turn to First John and read you this passage. Uh, about the carnal Well, it's about what John, what the Lord told John. And it's, uh, it's in First John 2, 15 through 17. And it says, do not love the world, all the things in the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. You know what I'm and they say, for all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of this world. And the, and the two worlds is passing away, and the lust of it. But he who does the will of God abideth forever. Mm -hmm. Oh, praise God. So, brothers and sisters, what I'm trying to say is after we answer the call of God and become babes in God, we are to grow. And we are to grow in our spirituality. Oh, oh praise God. But Jesus said he called you into a royal priesthood. You see? Into a royal priesthood. So, brothers and sisters, as I close, I exhort you. Pray to find out your position with Christ. Pray Christ to strengthen you in the way. Oh, Heavenly Father, we in a world now where it's right is made to be seemingly wrong and wrong is made to be seemingly right. right. Oh, Heavenly Father, protect the saints. Protect the saints. Keep them so they might, so that we might be with thee. Oh. So as I close, I close with the song. What a friend we have in Jesus. All our 
our sins and grief to bear. What a privilege it is to carry everything to God in prayer. Oh, brothers and sisters, this is a beautiful day, and I do not want to forget or fail to mention your know sin. In two days, even Satan's world acknowledges love. Even Satan's world acknowledges love. But brothers and sisters, we should carry the love for our neighbor, for our God, for our Redeemer in our hearts at all times. Pass me not, O oh gentle Savior, hear my humble cry. While on others there art calling, do not pass me by. Savior, Savior, hear my humble cry. While on others thou art calling, do not pass me by. Benediction. Please stand. Oh, Heavenly Father, that the words out of our mouth be the meditation in our heart. And may it be acceptable to thee. Oh, Heavenly Father, may a blessing to all your saints, and especially the ones here at Epiphany Ecumenical. Oh, Heavenly Father, let them not have it to want. Oh, Heavenly Father, let them be loved with thy love. And thy love that shared from neighbor to neighbor. Yeah. Let them not want as long as they live. And let them be peace and love in their heart. Give them a blessing for all their wants and all their needs. And all this we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Run, sisters. That's it. Okay. I am sorry. <laughs> but. Here you go. I um, I do. I'm on. I got you. Got a bag. You got a green bag. Somebody in the corner. What you got?